Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure a Bitscap grid bot to trade XRP USD on the Qcoin exchange. Now, the reason I'm actually configuring this bot is to act as a hedge on the recent news and price run up of XRP. It's climbed quite a bit in the last few days based on this Spark token airdrop that's going to happen December 12th. Now I did an entire video on that and you can find that in my playlist and the value I see for XRP. So you can go check that video out again in my playlist. Now, if you're not familiar with Bitscap, it's an all-in-one trading platform. You can actually trade cryptocurrencies from their platform from all of your exchanges by simply connecting your API addresses. And that way you don't have to jump back and forth between all of your exchanges as you're trading. That's one way I like to use it. Uh, they also offer bots, including like an arbitrage bot. And the bot I like the best that they offer is their grid bot. It is hands down probably the best bot out there as far as grid bots go that I've experienced so far. I'm looking at a few others. But right now, the Bitscap grid bot is my number one weapon when it comes to grid bots. And if you're interested in deploying your own grid bots, I will put a link down below. And you can actually get a 14-day free trial with that link. And that will be down in the description below. And after that, it becomes $19 a month for their basic subscription. And that will get you two active trading bots. Now, I actually have the pro account, so I'll have a few features you may not have available to you in the basic account. But with that basic account, that's a good place to start and get familiar with how their grid bots actually work. So let's jump over to the grid bot and get this guy deployed. Now, what I'm looking for with XRP, as I kind of explained in the previous video, is they've had this run up based on the airdrop that was announced for December 12th for the new Spark token. And they ran up to about 78 cents and kind of sold off and consolidated. And when Bitcoin dumped, pretty much all the coins dumped in the market and it found support just above the 45 cent range and then started to recover. And right now we're seeing quite a bit of resistance at the 65 cent level. And you can see we've hit off of it a couple times and been rejected and then finding a little bit of support off of those rejections around the 60 cent level. And so you can see I've already set up my upper limit and my lower limit price based on support for my lower limit price of around 45 cents. And for resistance, I chose 76 cents as my upper limit. And one of the settings I like to choose is trailing up. And so what that basically means as this price action were to move up, if it got above the 76 zone, it will move the whole grid up with the price action. So I always turn that on. Another feature that's pretty important is stop loss. If the price action were to crash below the 45 cents, there's a pretty big drop. This could go back to 30 cents, maybe 25 cents. I don't want to follow it all the way down there. I'd rather just get out wait regroup and then maybe reset a new grid and so i'm going to actually set my stop loss at 44 cents and so it's a pretty tight stop loss but there is plenty of room for the price to be able to move and breathe now some of the main settings qcoin and the reason i'm choosing qcoin in this case and normally i probably wouldn't because the volume is fairly light on qcoin for xrp but to be eligible for those airdrop spark tokens, I need to hold XRP on an exchange that is compatible with that airdrop. And Qcoin is one of those exchanges. And again, XRP USDT, the lower price limit on the grid is 45 cents. The upper is 76. Now in basic investment mode, this is the view. I can look at investment per grid and you can see I'm investing $8 per grid and the grid are these red lines and green lines the red lines are sell lines the green lines are buy lines so as this price moves up or down each time it hits one of these red lines it will sell a portion of my xrp tokens and take a profit each time it moves down it will buy more xrp tokens and basically replenish what sells when it moves up 
And so back to the basic investment, you can see I have 70 grids. And the reason for that, you could do 100 grids, but then my grid spacing is only going to be a profit, essentially, of 0.53%. And when I calculate in my fees on KuCoin, that's going to be about 1.6%. And that's 0.08% for a buy and 0.08% for a sell. And when added together, the buy and sell fees equate to 0.16%. I want that covered. So I go to 70 grids instead of 100 grids. And then that puts my spacing at 0.76%, taking the fee out. And each time it moves up, I should be making about half a percent on those moves as it sells. And then the amount I'm going to invest is $600. Now that doesn't mean I buy $600 worth of XRP. What that actually means at this current price level, I would hold 307 XRP with $400 in reserve to execute these buy orders that you have outstanding. And then the last option of take profit, I'm not actually gonna turn that on. I'm looking to hold these through that December 12 range at that point. I will then make a decision whether to shut this bot down. I do anticipate a pretty big dump after the December 12th airdrop happens. And therefore, I will review it at that time. Now, before I deploy the bot, I can do a back test. And it will calculate the back test for three, the three days, the month, and annual. And you can see all the little green and red targets would have been possible buys or sells as they hit the grids. So the reds are your sells, the greens are the buys on the way down, and then the reds are the sells on the way up. And you'd see my three-day results would be 165% because it's run up recently. And of course, back tests are based on past performance and do not guarantee future performance. So for what that's worth, it's information, do with it what you will. And so it looks like everything is configured and I'm ready to pull the trigger. So I just click start the bot. And as you can see, the please note message is basically saying it's necessary to buy 295 XRP in order to fill those sell orders on the way up. So I click yes. And you can see the market order was placed and the market order was filled. And now I hold approximately 293 XRP. And you can see the grid starting to fill in. And now the bot has officially started. And now all I need to do is sit back and let the price action come to me, whether it be up for profit or down to add more XRP. And this first target you see, the green target you see right here, is that initial buy of the 295 XRP I needed in order for this bot to be able to execute these sell orders on the way up. And so my idea here is for this to act as a hedge and maybe make some profit while I'm holding the XRP tokens while waiting for that December 12 airdrop of the Spark tokens. And if you want to see how this all plays out, I will do an update video in the future. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, spike a like. Uh, leave any comments or questions you have down below. I try to read through all your questions when I have time. And I think that's pretty much it. The bot is deployed and ready to engage in action. And so until next time, remember, never send your money into battle before you do your recon. See you in the next video.